Hello there, it's December 7th. By now, I'm assuming you know what the deal is, so let's get into it, right? Uh, I already know this one is because I had to go physically pick it up and to go buy it. But I'm really excited about it. Peanuts. Nothing to me says the holidays like a classic uh, sock calendar. Um, this one comes from Target. Uh, I've had something from Target before. I think DC Heroes uh, socks. Um, and I, I won't lie to you, behind the scenes, just in case a couple of these things that I've ordered don't show up in time, I do have another pair of socks uh, to open. Now, the peanuts... Now, the peanuts mean a lot to my family. Um, my dad's mom was like a huge collector of all things peanuts. Um, and I love this because it does have a guide on how to learn how to draw Snoopy. And then here, you've got uh, all the days of the, of, the, of the time. This is the one thing sometimes about getting advent calendars at different places. This is not 24 pairs of socks. I'm sorry. This advent calendar is 15 days of socks. Why 15? I, I don't know. But it's only going to be 15 items today. First up, Snoopy holding a... Uh, it's Snoopy holding Woodstock. Day two, classic Snoopy sleeping... Snoopy sleeping on, on the bed. Or on, on the bed. Snoopy sleeping on top... Snoopy sleeping on top of his uh, dog house, but with Christmas lights. Day three, we've got Linus doing some Christmas shopping. Day four, ooh, happy dancing Snoopy. That's a classic. Okay, day five, uh, we actually have some long socks, a bunch of presents, um, like a stocking, and a very worried Snoopy. Day six, you have sledding Snoopy. Oh my God. I might wear that on Christmas day. Number seven, more long socks. And we've got uh, some uh, some singing Charlie Brown characters, Peanuts characters, and uh, including Snoopy, who's like, uh, number eight. Ooh, it says, uh, it says Snoopy Christmas. Snoopy holding a, uh, Woodstock in in a present, but Snoopy Snoopy holding a uh, Woodstock. Okay, then we've got Happy Holidays and Snoopy doing some shoveling. Makes sense. White Christmas probably means they're gonna have to shovel some snow. Oh, now I love these actually. These also are gonna be a contender for Christmas Day, uh, and that is bell ringing Santa Snoopy. Love these. Uh, at number 11, um, Snoopy and Woodstock putting a little star on a, on a Christmas tree. I'm going to wear these when we uh, decorate the tree at my, uh, at my mom's place. Now, this kind of makes me feel like me up here in, uh, in New York. Snoopy and Woodstock in, um, in little puffer jackets. It gets cold, y'all. As someone who just moved uh, here from New Orleans, I, I have not been prepared for this level of cold again. I hate it. Ooh, at number 13. Oh my God. Yes. This rules. I love these. Snoopy inside a Christmas wreath. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, and then, uh, okay. This is an interesting one. So it's, it says peanuts on the base of the foot there. And then it's, I believe Charlie Brown opening Christmas presents on Christmas day in pajamas because an outfit I've never seen. At least I don't think I have, right? blue shirt, green pants. And then finally, at number 15, interesting. I thought this was going to say good grief for a second there, but it's actually good tidings. The little classic uh, green and red hat. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. There you go. 15 days of socks. Um, Target, I would love to see 24. Uh, I don't know what it would take to get you know more than 15 days worth of socks, but... Uh, that's another advent, though, and so, therefore, I think that we uh, were successful. Um, and I'm going to wear every single one of those pairs for sure this holiday season.
I was a little bit stop recording for today, but I actually have a quick question, which is, do you do sock calendars? Because when I said I was going to be doing this, multiple people were like really excited about seeing a sock advent. Is that a common thing for, for more people? I know that in my family, we love to do them occasionally, but like, that's so interesting. Uh, I really haven't heard other people talk about it until I mentioned that I was doing this project. So if you love doing sock advent calendars, you know, let me know in the comments or write to me at Colin M. Parker on Twitter uh, or I guess Instagram as well. I don't know where you would post it, but you, you're more than welcome to. All right. Another day, a new advent calendar. And today we've got a doozy. Um, we've got a whole ass Lego set. Now it has 28 models, six and one. Um, basically, there's 24 small models or you can use one through six to make one item and so on and so forth. Um, so because there are so many options and because this is kind of a heftier, uh, one to make, I think I might need to call in a little bit of help. Yo. What's up? What are you doing? Playing the finals. Uh, what if you instead helped me with an advent calendar? And, and absolutely not. I'm playing the finals. It's Legos. We can either build four big things or 24 little things. Which do you prefer? Four. Okay. Let's go make 24 little things then. <laughs> Christian and I didn't record any kind of audio separately for this section, um, so I'm going to do it on my own. But I will say, please check out his streams and his content, twitch.tv slash NPC underscore Christian. Um, you can find him on pretty much every social platform under that same username. Uh, and he's my roommate. Uh, so, you know, you should definitely check him out. Uh, great guy. And uh, I love doing stuff with him. So it's a, it's a win-win for everyone. But what's also a win-win is doing Legos. Because for me, especially growing up, Christmas and Legos were pretty much the same thing. Or, <laughs> let me get this right. Let me, let me say that in a different way. Christmas time typically meant Legos. For years on end, there was at least one Lego set in my Christmas wish list. I have spent many years on the floor or at a table um, at either my parents' house or my grandparents' house putting together a set or two of Legos. And sometimes I was building exactly what was on the box, and sometimes I was saying, well, hey, I see there's alternate things, but they don't give you the instructions for those. But I was trying to figure them out as best I could. That's why I feel like this one's really cool is because of the fact that this is actually like 24 small individual things, or you can use a, this time they actually do give you the, the uh, instructions though, uh, four alternate sets of things that you can make using all of those same pieces, although despite having some leftover pieces. And so that's really all there is to this little segment. But I will say, if you like Legos and you like seeing this stuff during the holidays, don't worry, there's plenty left. So that's 24 days four giant pieces, but 24 packs with a bunch of little leftover jumps. Uh, but there you go. That is uh, another advent calendar done. Thank you, Christian. Okay. Uh, I feel like I probably say that I'm excited about every single one of them, but this one, I just opened it up and it made me laugh pretty hard because uh, truth be told, I didn't actually know what to expect with this one. Um, I felt like I was going for a lot of things that were definitely going to be me oriented. Um, but then when I was just looking for advent calendars, I was also looking at just what the cheapest ones were too, just to see if there were any sort of like hidden gems, if you will. Um, and there was one that I saw that kind of tickled me a little bit, which was my first advent. And I knew it was for, for babies, but what I got was not at all what I was expecting. What I got instead of an advent calendar in terms of like little items, what I got was this little book. Um, this is for zero to 12 months. My first advent. Here's day one. Day two, a little Rudolph action. Day three, a little Frosty the Snowman. Day four, a little snow globe. Day five, got to have the stocking. Day six, candy cane. Day seven, scarf. Here's an interesting one. Day eight, angel. Look at the face on this guy or girl. Look at the face on this one. 
Why does it look angry? It knows what you did. Day nine, a star. Ooh, gotta be careful with this one. Day 10, lights. But it's got a, it's got a little outlet. But it's got the plug sort of exposed, so it feels a little dangerous. Day 11, gingerbread man. Day 12, present. Day 13, candles with open flames for a baby, crazy. Day 14, jingling bells. Jingle bells, bells. Day 15, I assume this is Santa's pack. The holes kind of make it look almost like cheese or like it's moldy or something. I don't, also, the fact that it's monotone is also... Day 16, Christmas wreath. Day 17, snowflake. Day 18, Santa sleigh. Whoa, day 19, the big man himself, Santa. Day 20, Santa's hat. Day 21, another reindeer. But this time, this must be Rudolph. The other one must have just been a plain reindeer. Day 22, Christmas ornament. Day 23, mittens. Day 24, Christmas letter, maybe? There's a bonus one, and that is Christmas Day. A little coffee mug. They're way too young to be drinking coffee. But it's got a little heart on it. So, I guess there's that. High contrast books help develop eyesight. High contrast plus clear shapes equals happy baby. Once again, angry angel. So that one was a little short and sweet, but that probably works out for the better for a series like this. Some of them are going to be a little long. Some of them might be a little short. But thank you so much for joining me for my first advent calendar, since it's also my first advent of advents, but also definitely my last. This is a lot to, to do. I don't think I can do this every year. Now, this box may look very unassuming, but it's actually filled with a bunch of little puzzles and brain teasers. Um, some of them are wooden, some of them are plastic, some of them are metal. So let's see if I have what it takes to solve puzzles that are designed for small children.
Hello there. Uh, as you can probably tell, it is daytime this time. I usually do these at night because it's better lighting, uh, but there's a Bills game today and my schedule's a little out of whack, so we're gonna do it during the sunlight. I love today's advent calendar. I gotta look at it when I open up the box um, because uh, I wanted to get in on the hype on something else that I love, which is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, they just had a new movie come out in August, which was amazing. Uh, you should definitely go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, uh, Mutant Mayhem was a delightful movie uh, and such a perfect uh, iteration of the Turtles. I really, really love that movie. Um, but uh, there was an advent calendar for them. And I was like, hell yeah, let's get that because I love them. Why not? Plus, they're about to uh, put out the Fortnite skins for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is also great. I can't wait to get that because I'm going to be dressed up as Michelangelo all the time. Uh, I love Mikey very, very much. But it's also great because I opened it up. I just bought it. I didn't actually really look at what was going to be in it. Um, I think that if I play my cards right, every single video is going to have a moment in it where there's a day where my stomach will be put to the test. Uh, because here is today's advent calendar. And it's more chocolate. Um, so let's take a look at these. Um, it got a little beat up in transit, it looks like, but I, I'm hoping that they're still okay. Okay, unlike the other one, they're actually individually packaged, so they shouldn't have fallen out, I don't imagine. A little dog wearing antlers and like a Christmas hat? I don't know if that'll focus, but like, it's also not very... Ninja Turtles. This is more akin to Easter chocolate. I don't know how to describe this, but I think that anyone that celebrates both holidays or gets candy for both holidays probably knows what I mean. This is not your typical holiday chocolate mix. This is like Easter chocolate. This is a snowman. So it's just the Teenage Mutant Turtles on the box. I guess Ninja Turtles in name only. I guess a bag of presents. Uh-oh. Well, we got our first uh, casualty. The fourth one is not in it. Oh no. I think that's what this is because I opened up number five and one of them is in pieces over top of it. Well, that's not good. Okay, number five. I'm afraid to show this because I'm... Okay. Here's number five. I'm afraid of losing other pieces further down. I think it's like a, a perspective present. Captain Marvel. No, uh, it's, uh, I guess, the Star of Bethlehem. A reindeer. Number eight, a trumpet. Number nine is a little teddy bear. Number 10, a Christmas wreath. I have one on my front door right now. Number 11, a cupcake. God, I wish it had been actually turtle related. Uh, this is, even though it probably would have been too much sweetness, just give me actual turtles. Like a candy. Uh-oh. Well, we've got another missing one. For number 12. I'm sure we'll find it. Number 13. Christmas tree. Number 14. A little, um, uh, we'll train. Bad news. 15 is also somewhere else in the box. 16, a little holly and some bells. Okay, number 17 and 18 look a little thicker than usual. I'm assuming that's where some of these have shifted to. I'm not even sure which one this is actually supposed to be. But we'll just call this 17. This is eight. Oh, this this was supposed to be number 12. It was an angel. Here's 18, a boot. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And by that, I do mean like the end of this segment, not that like this chocolate is going to kill me. Although, number 19, little Santa face. Five more, okay. Number 20, an ice skate. Number 21, a little candle. It's kind of hard to see. It kind of looks a little... We're in the home stretch. 22, I guess this is a bag of toys. It just looks like a little bag. It honestly just looks like a turd. I'm sorry. 23 is a little house. Amazingly, 24 is not in there. Found it. A little nightcap that I just put on with Mama as we settled down for a long winter's nap. 
There's 24. Ninja Turtles Advent Calendar. <sighs> Done. And I feel like my teeth are buzzing. That cannot be right. <laughs> and for part 12 of Advent of Advents, we have uh, a cheeky little jigsaw puzzle. A uh, thousand and eight pieces. Um, each day you open up a tiny small box uh, that has 42 pieces in it. And across 24 days, you create the larger image that's here on the front of the box. Now, even with condensing the footage down, there's going to be quite a bit of time looking at a puzzle being solved. And that's not necessarily riveting television. So I decided I should bring in one more person to help fill in the gaps here. Um, I am bringing in a friend of mine who I've actually done quite a few uh, streams with to actually solve jigsaw puzzles. And that is Jen or Jen's Void. And uh, it's nice sometimes to hear about other people and what their family does and what their holiday traditions are. And so that's exactly what we're going to do as we put together this puzzle right here. So since I'm doing uh, a jigsaw puzzle here, I figured that uh, over this past summer, I did a couple of puzzle streams uh, with my favorite person that has ever existed, uh, and that is Jen, uh, otherwise known as Jen's Void. How are you, Jen? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you as well. What are some of the traditions that you and your family have for either Christmas or just the holiday season in general? Uh, well, there's not really a whole lot we do. I'd say Christmas Eve, we always try and do like a family board game night, which is kind mm. of something I like. I like to do because I love playing board games, so I try and force my family to do it every year. But Christmas Eve seems to be the day that that we always end up doing that. And it's a lot of fun. What kind of games do you typically play? Is it always the same thing or just it's always a hodgepodge? Uh, I mean, there's really only a couple that we like kind of rotate through. I mean, for a long time, it was just Monopoly because that's just, you know, the basic mm -hmm. board game. But there's also it's a game from like the 70s or the 80s that my grandparents gave us a long time ago called Who's It? It's really funny. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and then what about Christmas Day? Is there like a specific time that you all get up? Or is it just sort of now that you're all adults? Is it like whenever we get up is whenever we get up? Yeah, I mean, it's gotten later and later as we get older because mm -hmm. we want to sleep. But like, I mean, I'm sure most people will be like on Christmas Day when you're a kid, you can't fall asleep anyways. Mm -hmm. So you're up all night. But usually, I don't know, probably like eight or nine now we wake up. We do presents. Usually what we do, how it works for us, is all the kids get up and we just kind of wait in the hallway until my parents get up. <laughs> okay. And then once they get up, we all go downstairs and we just do, we do stocking stuffers. We all okay. open our stocking stuffers and then we wait a little bit, kind of just to actually wake up. And then usually my grandparents and my aunt and uncle on my mom's side come over and that's when we go through and do all the presents and everything. So right now, um, I'm obviously building up an image, um, but one final thing to share, uh, if you're not watching the Twitch streams, which by the way you should, twitch.tv slash Colin M. Parker, um, Jen got me a little gift this holiday season. Mm -hmm. um, Jen commissioned this little picture of uh, world's number one dad watching the kid open presents on Christmas Day. Um, so this is our little kind of like holiday uh, Christmas card. So, uh, from our family to yours, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Jen. Merry Christmas, Colin. And with that, we are halfway through the Advent of Advents. This is a hell of an undertaking, but it is so much fun. So I'll catch you all on the next one.